Once upon a time there was a famine in the kingdom of a king due to which the wealth of the treasury started getting empty people were not able to pay the tax due to which the wealth of the treasury started decreasing due to this the people of the state started living very sad after some time the situation became normal but the wealth was not increasing in the king's treasury Meanwhile the king got the news that some enemies are going to attack his kingdom knowing this the king's trouble had increased even more the king had caught some people conspiring in his palace due to all these reasons happiness and peace had disappeared from the life of the king one day the king saw his servant taking care of the royal garden and eating a full stomach of dry chapatis in the morning and evening but there is happiness on his face he is always in bliss seeing all this the king was jealous he used to think that my servant's life is better than me there is no worry in his life he does his work and takes rest after eating a full stomach of chapatis in the morning and evening on the other hand look at my life i have lost my appetite and i have lost my sleep too there is no such thing as happiness and peace in my life one day a famous sage came to the palace of the king the king honored him served him well sage was very pleased with the service of the king sage asked the king o oh, rajan you are looking very happy from outside but inside you are very sad there is unrest your life is going through many worries feel free to tell me about your worries and problems the king told the sage the reason for his concern sage said the reason for your concern is this royal kingdom give this kingdom to me and get rid of all the troubles The king agreed after listening to sage he declared sage as the king then sage asked the king what will you do now the king said i do not have money i will get a job somewhere sage said you stay here and rule my kingdom you also have experience of ruling a kingdom i will stay in my hut and you will take care of my kingdom the king agreed to it Now the king started taking care of the state without worry. He used to eat a full stomach and had a sound sleep. Now the king was not worried about what would happen to the state because the king was sage. He started serving the state without worry. Due to this worry-free work of his, the situation in the state became completely fine. The famine ended in the state. the wealth of the treasury also started increasing and the people of the state were also living their life happily after a few days when the sage came to his palace the king said to him maharaj i am very happy now now i am able to do the work of the kingdom with great heart and peace the sage said o rajan you used to do the same thing before and you do the same thing now but at that time you had taken this work as a burden and now you are doing this work as your duty so you are happy and all your worries are also removed now listen to me carefully never do the work which you need to do as a burden otherwise you will never be able to live peacefully your heart will always be heavy learn to do your work with pleasure only then there will be happiness and peace in life now i am returning your kingdom to you rule it with peaceful mind my dear brothers and sisters in our own life we do not put our heart in whatever work we do we just have to work so we do it then we start feeling our work as burden and whenever a thing called burden comes in life then peace goes away from life sometimes it happens that too many responsibilities make people's life burdensome this happens because either those responsibilities are very terrible or the person to whom this responsibility goes is not capable of fulfilling that responsibility 
a responsibility doesn't mean only fulfilling the needs of your family members but elevating yourself in life is also a biggest responsibility how do you feel after listening to this story tell me by commenting thank you so much jai shri krishna jai shri ram